Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit different of a video. Um, I know I normally talk about boots, but today I'm gonna to be talking about my second favorite subject, which is meat. <laughs> I'm very excited because I just got in this package from this new company that I found called Good Ranchers. And Good Ranchers, I always sort of scoffed at this idea of like getting a meat subscription, but I heard their pitch and I decided to try it out. So I just bought, I bought a single package from them, a single box deal. And I was so blown away by the taste of the meat. I'm not exaggerating. Oh, one really cool thing is the box comes loaded with dry ice, which I love to play with. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this meat comes like super duper chilled package. And uh, yeah, so I got one of their standard boxes. So I think I ordered the Cowboy as my first order. Either that or the Cattleman. Either way, I was so impressed with the taste of the meat. It's kind of like, you know when you taste it. And I did a little bit more research and I'll, and I'll talk about why I, I decided to do a subscription which saves you money. I subscribed to the New Year's bundle. So it's almost 400 bucks every two months, right? It's gonna be more than enough meat for me and my family of four. Grass-fed, grain-finished beef. Good ranchers. 100% born, raised, and harvested in the United States. All natural, flash frozen. Good job, you brought home the beef. <laughs> One thing that I didn't realize, because I'm always learning, and I'm kind of a nutrition freak anyways, I'm kind of a health freak. So I do a lot of intermittent fasting, I, I grow my own wheat grass. I believe in maximizing the nutritional quality of things, and uh, like even with my rice, like my white rice, I don't just cook the white rice and throw in some flavoring. It's like, no, I'll infuse that with a ton of nutrients to make it the most nutritionally dense, nutritionally packed white rice I can make. So for example, I'll throw in turmeric and I'll throw in medicinal mushroom blends and it turns it into like this really nice brown rice sort of color. And it's just loaded with adaptogens, vitamins. It turns the white grain of the rice from an empty carb to a fully loaded nutritionally packed carb and uh, so that's what I believe in doing like if I'm gonna have a vice which a lot of people consider rice and carbs to be a vice then I'm gonna turn it into something usable something better so that that way at least on the back end I'm getting a nutritional punch with it and so I do believe in the nutritional health of my family and for that reason we switched over to this stuff now like I said, this will be enough beef. I signed up for the every eight week delivery. And what's really cool about that is, so it's $394 for the subscription. So $394 every eight weeks. That price is locked in for life. So as long as you don't un unsubscribe, to my knowledge, I'll always get this, this package every eight weeks, regardless of what happens. I actually took all the, all the cuts of meat and I sort of broken them up. I broke them down into value and I estimated how much it would cost to get the same stuff at a grocery store. And the cost came out to about, now this depends because the quality of the cuts vary so much. So it does depend. But on the cheapest, lowest quality meat, I could get all these same cuts for 250 bucks approximately. 280, 300 range. Now, so obviously I'm paying more for this. So why is that worth it? Well few reasons. First off, I have never tasted meat like this in my life. And apparently, all those labels that you see in the grocery store, like, oh, grass-fed, ethically raised, no hormones, uh, free range, all these buzz terms, right? They sound really good. And you pay a little bit extra, you get organic or whatever. Apparently, most of the meat in our grocery stores was raised overseas. It's all, like, a lot of it is imported. In fact, most of it is. That raised a, a, a level of concern for me because it's not that I don't like imports, but it's a matter of like transparency. Like if they're lying to us, <laughs> if they're lying to us about these chickens being free range and they're lying to us about the cows being grass fed and all this, it's like, well, what else are they lying about? And not to mention, have you ever noticed how you go to a steakhouse 
and their steaks there always taste way better than anything you can get at the grocery store. I've always noticed this. I've always wondered like, what's the trick behind when you go to a steakhouse, whether it be a chain like Outback or whether you go to like a really ritzy sort of boutique uh, steakhouse, um, why do their steaks always taste so phenomenal? Well, it's because, and this is a crucial fact that I did not know, steakhouses apparently only get the choicest, highest quality cuts of meat, and grocery stores never ever get those same quality cuts of meat. And so that's why you will never be able to reproduce a steakhouse quality steak in your house. It's because the grocery stores simply do not sell them. That was mind blowing to me. Now, that's where Good Ranchers comes in. So we already ate through our first box that I ordered, but every time I cooked it, my wife said, this tastes like restaurant steak. I said, yes, yes it does. And it's not like I'm some expert cook either. The meat is just, it is restaurant quality, high end restaurant quality. And by the way, I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm simply very inspired by this company and they've already in the short amount of time that I've you know, been following them, they've already changed my life for the better. Another thing that I notice is after I make my steak and let's say I leave like the, uh, the pan out on the stove overnight. When I wake up the next morning and I walk near that pan, it's still got like the grease in it. It smells so good. It smells so aromatic. I can't put my finger on it, but it just, it's again, not that I added, not that I'm some amazing chef and I was able to add some, you know, create some beautiful concoction. The meat itself, the fat from the beef itself smells so good even the next day. For that reason, I'm like, okay, I'm really, really inspired by this company, by their product. So what they do is they source their meats 100% guaranteed to be sourced from within the United States. So let me read a little bit about that. So it says, skip the grocery store and support American. 100% American meat sourced locally. Always reliable, safe and convenient, no added hormones or antibiotics. We wanted to know where our meat was coming from. With a young growing family, we wanted to buy the best while still staying on a budget. But those two goals seemed impossible. Either we bought the grocery store meat that came from who knows where, with who knows what quality, or we spent three times as much on the meat delivery services that seemed just as mysterious as the grocery store. Our solution to this problem can be yours as well. Good ranchers. We found the solution. We bootstrapped the business from day one. Traveling connect with the good ranchers all across the United States, researching what American families need and putting together boxes to connect American products to American people. We believe there is no quality like American quality. We believe everyone deserves to know where their meat comes from. And we believe each person should be able to afford it. Those are still the beliefs that drive us today. We take the guesswork out of the meat aisle and the premium price out of those meats. Yeah, so Good Ranchers donates over or 500,000 meals to food banks across the country. Our Give 10 program is just getting started. We hope you can join us to reach 1 million meals donated very soon. So yeah, so every box that you purchase, the Good Ranchers donates 10 meals to families in need. Our partner ranches raise a variety of cattle, Angus, Hereford, and American Wagyu, just to name a few. Embracing our obligation to sustain the land, we look for ranches and farms that use the newest innovations in farming to minimize negative impact on the environment. Animal wellness. Proper animal care is essential in balancing the health and productivity of the cattle herd. The ranches and farms we partner with are required to use humane animal care practices and are proactive in implementing the latest techniques and programs. Responsibility. Partner ranches and farms use socially responsible business practices which include being a positive impact in their communities. Fair hiring practices and giving back. Our process. Know where your meat comes from. Hand selected locally sourced. Skip one of the one cut fits all grocery stores. Choose Good Ranchers for 100% American meat. All of our products are sourced from local ranches and farms throughout the heartland of the United States. Our cattle are pasture raised, chicken are free range, and our farms are using the most innovative techniques to ensure every cut of meat that hits your table is a cut above the rest. We have prime and choice USDA grades, hand trimmed and cut, individually wrapped, vacuum sealed, flash frozen. Our beef is 100% American steakhouse quality of prime and choice. Our chicken is 100% American Cornish, better than organic, no added hormones ever. Our pork is Heritage Berkshire, the most sought after pork in the United States. Our seafood is caught, cut, and packaged on the boat at its freshest. Antibiotic free, no added hormones ever. About 40% of all raw meat purchased at the grocery store 
it goes to waste. The average family can save almost $500 a year using our product. And that's another thing that I noticed, like my family and I, we eat out a lot and uh, like having this meat at home forced me to say, no, I have food at home, I'm gonna cook it. And, uh, and not only that, but to be excited about cooking it. That was the other kicker for me. Like I noticed that just having this, you know, when I have grocery store meat at home, it's like, I don't, you know, I'm not honestly not that excited. Like the, the only instance where we cook that stuff is where we're just feeling super lazy one day. We don't want to leave the house. It's like, well, what do we want to do for food? Oh, well, I guess I'll cook. It never like, like really ignited my soul with a lot of uh, excitement to cook that stuff from the grocery store. But Good Ranchers is different. Like when I, when I know this stuff is in the freezer, I'm excited. I'm excited to turn dinner into a project. Like I'll take the meat out, thaw it, start getting everything else ready. So that way when it's, when it's time, like I just focus on making the meat, whether I'm grilling it or doing it on the pan and then, and then prepare the meat and then we're ready to eat. So did you know that over 85% of all grass fed beef comes from overseas? That's true even at your organic grocery store. That's why we source from local ranches and farms throughout the heartland of America. Our beef is 100% American beef from our partner ranches and farms that meet our standards of excellence. Like I said earlier in the video, like, yeah, I did, I ran the calculations and, you know, ounce for ounce, I'm paying more for the Good Ranchers subscription right now. Now that's not to say that inflation isn't gonna kick in and prices for that meat at the grocery store is gonna shoot up. And so, like I said, I could get the cheapest meat for $250 or I could get the best meat for $400. And the way that I also rationalize this is by the fact of knowing that we're not going to be eating out at restaurants as much. I'm gonna be cooking this stuff and you know, what's an outing at a restaurant, 50, 80 bucks? Well, with this, I mean, I already spent the money, $400. And this is, this is enough for, by the way, yeah, for the New Year bundle, I can't remember, but I think it was around $4 a meal which is really good. So here we have Italian seasoned boneless chicken breast, skinless chicken, wow. It's got a nice color about it. It's not that pale, ugly chicken that you get at Walmart. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget it, but this big pack of chicken breasts at Walmart once for $10 and I, and I brought it home. I'm like, they're like big and they're like pale breasts, you know, like sickly looking. You can tell that these chickens were not raised right. And, uh, I cooked it up and it just tasted rubbery and I couldn't eat it. I couldn't finish it as much as I wanted to. I believe you can taste the difference in the flavor. Here we have USDA choice or higher beef bone in short loin steak. And uh, when I say this stuff is frozen, it is frozen from that dry ice. Don't let your kids play with the dry ice, by the way, that stuff is, <laughs> that'll burn and burn. <laughs> it's colder than cold. When Good Rancher says what is better than organic, Organic is a really watered down label that doesn't carry the weight of that most of us hope or think it does. When sourcing our chicken specifically, we, we wanted to be better than the organic standard. Instead of sourcing from organic farms that do the minimum to earn the label, we wanted to work with farms who do the most to earn your trust. That's better than organic. And yeah, I've, I've bought organic meat. I can't honestly taste the difference between organic, grass fed from the grocery store, and you know, just your standard cheaper cuts. So. That's why buying organic meat never made sense to me, just because I couldn't tell the difference. And I, and I pay attention to differences, believe me. USDA choice or higher beef top sirloin steak. Super duper rich, dark brown color. Like you could just see it visually. You could see it in the meat. A food's color tells you a lot. And when you look at a meat and it looks pale and sickly, you know, similar to like how they say it with eggs, right? They say, oh, the pale yellow yolks aren't good. That's a sign of an unhealthy chicken. You want vibrant orange yolks. That's true. Same with your meat. Like this meat, when you look at it, it's still frozen, but it's very, very deep red. You know, it's very high quality. You can tell like a pale meat. That's like a sign of, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but probably the sign of an iron deficiency or something to that nature. USDA choice Angus. So this is beef ribeye. Angus beef ribeye. All right. So there's two 17 ounce bone in steaks. Wagyu burgers. American style Wagyu blend chop steak ground beef. New York strip steaks. These, these were really good on the grill. Phenomenal on the grill. We've got more chicken breast here. Ooh. 
it, they just look like happier chicken breasts. You know, they don't they don't have that really dulled out yellow appearance. They look like just a healthy, muscular, lean, healthy chicken breast. Flat iron steak, more Wagyu blend chopped steak burgers. So yeah, it's got six signature steak burgers, eight pre-seasoned pre-trimmed chicken breasts, eight plain chicken breasts, four black Angus bone-in ribeyes, three black Angus New York strips, five black Angus top sirloin steaks, six American Wagyu steak burgers, and 10 meals donated to local family food banks. But another thing I like about their meats is to get the perfect balance of tenderness and flavor, we dry age our meat for 14 days and wet age them for an additional 14 days. Wow. What's the difference between dry aged and wet aged is how the meat is dehydrated. For dry aging, whole sides of beef or primal cuts are hung in the open air at a temperature just above freezing and left to age for weeks. Not only are the enzymes breaking down the muscle tissues during this time, but the meat is also slowly dehydrating. This concentrates the meat and changes the texture and flavor. With wet aging, cuts of beef are vacuum sealed in plastic and shipped to the market. This aging takes place in the four to 10 days between slaughter and sale while the meat is in transit, giving the enzymes time to tenderize the meat. Very cool. All right, so anyways, similar to how I do boot unboxings, I kind of wanted to unbox this meat. The leather from the boot industry comes from the beef market. And so it's possible that some of this, some of these cows here were from the same skins that some of these boots came from. I can't verify that, I have no way of knowing, but thanks a lot for watching guys. Please give Good Ranchers a look if you're interested. I think that I'm into them. I'm very excited about all the cuts that I got. I can't wait to start cooking it up. And uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.